guys, this is the savior and I'm back with my Zolo A500 is Today I'm gonna show you how to tweak your looks uh, I mean looks of your device using the export framework uh, If you have not seen how to export the framework you can go to the description There are links to my videos uh, They will show you how to export the framework on this device Then you can carry on So let's begin First, you have to download an app known as Gravity Box. Um, yes, I have it. Yep, and when you download it, you're gonna install that. But I already have it, and I'm gonna install. So, now when you are done with the installation, you will get something like this gravity box okay. then after that you're going to go to expose installer and go to modules and activate the modules of gravity box it will show you like it will give you the notification that changes become active on reboot so then now all we have to do is Go to framework and do a soft reboot. Yes. Yep, it's almost done. Um, yeah. Now we have it back. Let's give it some time. It will load up. So now that we are done with the reboot, you have to go to Gravity Box. It now it has the modules activated, so you can use it. And there are many tweaks out here. You can try each and every one. I'm going to show you a few, like status bar. Here you can set the status bar colors. Like it's right now it's black. You can change the color to any other color like for example it's red so I prefer black you want you can keep any color you, if you wish I will keep it as black yeah so then you can change the icon colors and all that stuff um, after that you can have transparency like here and lock screen I have the status bar fully transparent and um, what else notification draw style and then you can have background transparency you can see through it right as much as you increase to be more visible the background but I don't like it so I don't keep it uh, then what else we have Pi controls Pi controls is like uh, They do the same work as these buttons But uh, it does for those who don't have these buttons you can have all the screen So I will show you how it is um, This side Yep It's like this get them you can go back and go home recent applications don't want to do anything keep it like this you can have it from um, on this side yeah. you can have it from this side then you can change the position anywhere like if I keep it here it will be like this get it from this side you always have the from bottom I don't think so I have no, not here so uh, that's by controls you can check it out I don't want it I'll keep it mm. and what else 
clock setting yeah uh, this thing is not working on our device i don't know why i tried it but like here i show high dm pm it's not hiding center clock center clock is still there this doesn't have any effect these settings doesn't have any effect on the status bar so you cannot try them sorry for that and battery indicator style also you can't change many things out there in the status bar you are not allowed to change i don't know why but okay you can just try this thing is nice enable brightness control like uh, if you enable it you can switch brightness by just sliding on the status bar like i increased it i decreased it to minimum so i can have as much brightness as i want right and then gps notifications if you want to disable them you can have them disabled um quick setting manager is like these things are the quick settings so you can change the order change what all you want so like quick still bar tiles you have many tiles to choose from you can have the ones which you want like wi-fi bluetooth and all that stuff what's uh, what all is required and then tiles per row like how many you want if i keep it at five there will be five tiles in a row keep it three there are three tiles in a row i must be thinking why i'm doing like i'm doing just this and my quick setting bar is coming it's like problem notification bar it's quick setting bar actually the feature was if you double tap and hold double tap and bring it down it will give you the quick settings but i don't know why my device is not actually our device does not support it because there's a problem with multi-touch if you are in a, like landscape mode then you use it two fingers it will be fine um this is just like normal and you use two fingers you get the quick stick quick settings bar one to your right side normal status bar then quick settings and again normal status bar so we don't have this feature while we are in portrait mode so for that we can have this quick pull down thing quick pull down i've set it to right that's why when i pull it down from the right side i have the quick settings with me if you are like switching it off i get the same old notification bar i pull it from anywhere So I keep it so that I can quickly go to quick settings and that is all then you can check many more things you have plenty of time <coughs> let me show you some display tweaks brightness settings like enable brightness settings uh, I have the minimum brightness to 10 level it will even lower down the brightness from the minimum level so that uh, you can save power uh, I keep it I like that thing uh, but the changes become on reboot like it will say you change will uh, be applied after reboot so that's the thing you have to reboot even if you do a single change CRD screen on fit is quite nice like the normal screen effect is like it fades out and going with the CRD effect it gives the effect of like you're shutting down a TV, so like uh, the old TV, CRT TVs, cathode ray tubes. Yep, you saw that. So that's where it is. Now there are many more things you can try them, take your display, and enjoy your phone. I'll show you some more videos. Till then, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Thank you.